What is up guys? This is a perfect example of why the early fall oyster mushrooms can be so dangerous. We're here middle of September and we're probably a month away from when I normally would start picking oyster mushrooms. Uh, this isn't the exact reason, but they just start showing up really good in like October in my area. Uh, there are several different species of the oyster mushrooms that are all edible. But there is this one look-alike that to the untrained eye, I think uh, this is one of those where you could actually get in trouble. So let's take a closer look. I'll show you what I mean. So some of the distinguishing features of oyster mushrooms, uh, you know, they tend to grow without a stem. So first glance, let's just say you had your kid or a novice picker with you. Uh, these appear to grow right against the tree. I mean, you could see they look like they're growing very, very close to the tree. They're growing kind of in the clusters, which you would describe. And then if we look underneath, they even have pretty well-defined gills like you would see on oyster mushrooms. So you see those big old gills. But to the trained person, I'm sure you already see the distinguishing difference, and it's that stem. Oyster mushrooms do not grow on a stem like that. I'd be lying if I told you I knew exactly what these were. I have a suspicion, but I don't want to mislead anybody. But the oyster mushrooms have basically a ribbed, pseudo kind of looking stem that basically connects the mushroom directly to the tree. These are not oyster mushrooms. And if somebody picked these and the stem broke off, so if they only picked the caps, they'd be extremely difficult to tell the difference in these and oyster mushrooms once you were kind of cleaning them up and preparing them to cook. Now, if you want to compare those lookalikes to some oyster mushrooms, uh, I found some right here. Unfortunately, these look like they're a couple days old. I didn't get them when they were fresh enough. But you can see they kind of grow similar clusters and uh, there's a couple of nice clusters on this one. And just like I said, the same trees can be inoculated with multiple types of mushrooms. So that's what's kind of scary is this same tree might have made those lookalikes even kind of hidden within here. So if there was, say, one of those bad mushrooms, the lookalikes in here, it'd be very hard to identify it. But anyway, you look, they kind of grow in these clusters. I'm going to pull these off to show you. And they have a very similar look at gill pattern. I think the oysters have a little bit tighter gill pattern. And you can see how the stems are. They're uh, gilled basically all the way down to not really having a stem growing directly out of the tree. And you can see these are covered in bugs, kind of yellow, dried on the fringe, no longer really fit to eat. Uh, so I'm not gonna harvest all these, but it just shows you kind of the difference in, that's why I'm a little bit cautious of picking the really early oysters is because there is a chance that uh, you could end up with a look-alike or something. And, you know, like this one, it's a little peculiar looking. I think it's still an oyster, but uh, it does not look like a normal oyster. I'm trying to see. But yeah, so there you have it. Be careful. So I spotted a couple more trees with these uh, look-alike mushrooms and these don't look quite as close uh, because they're probably a little bit older and the stems are a little bit more defined. But the cap, the gill structure, everything looks very, very similar to, I'm going to say similar because I find they're very easy to tell the difference, but a novice may not. But another thing that I really want you to notice, and this is what comes into play kind of when we do start actually picking oyster mushrooms is the tree that this is inhabiting. So you see they're kind of growing all up along this tree. Obviously this tree is uh, full of whatever this mushroom variety is. And this is the exact same tree we pick most of our oyster mushrooms off of. This is a dead standing tallow tree. And you can see there's another one right over here. And same thing, it's got uh, that same type of mushroom on it. And so that's one of the big risks, even though I see very, very few of these come the later months, 
they do grow on the exact same tree and you can occasionally see them growing at the same time as the oyster mushrooms so this isn't a guide to teach you how to pick mushrooms this is just showing you that you know i always talk about my favorite mushroom we pick these wild oysters all the time but there are some risks associated with it if you really don't know what you're doing so you need to take the time spend a lot of time with somebody who can easily identify them and uh make sure you learn with an expert looking over your shoulder because like i said one of these caps without a stem ends up in your bag of mushrooms and uh, that might be the last mistake you make don't know what these are they may not even be toxic but uh they're definitely not oysters and i know one wrong mushroom could be uh pretty significant ordeal for someone so please don't make this mistake and uh like i said learn with an expert